the Corpse Reviver cocktail. According to Harry Craddock, it says four of these taken in swift succession will unrevive the corpse again. Hmm. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Back in the early days of cocktails, or it's probably the mid early days of cocktail, we're talking about the late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, the concept of a pick-me-up drink in the morning was fairly common. Um, and some of these drinks became known as corpse revivers. There were a number of different corpse revivers available. Um, we have a few of them referenced in the Savoy cocktail book that was published in 1930s. Uh, corpse survivor number one and corpse survivor number two. Uh, there is also a recipe available for corpse survivor number three. And those are the only drinks going by the name corpse survivor we know about. It. The one that survived to this day that is still being made is the corpse survivor number two, which I'm going to make for you today. It's a very, very simple drink to make. We start off with three quarters an ounce of gin. I'm going to use Plymouth gin for this one. Three quarter ounce of lemon juice. Three quarter ounce of Lille Blanc. And three quarter ounce of Cointreau. Now, if you notice, we're using equal parts of everything which makes it a very simple drink to make. It's easy to scale up or scale down depending upon your needs. And the final ingredient, which is fairly important, is a dash of absinthe. Um, I'm going to be using my absinthe out of a little dropper bottle just to make it easy so we don't over pour. Then being a cloudy drink like this because of the lemon juice, we're going to shake it, of course. Strain that into our cocktail glass. And while it doesn't necessarily have to be a morning drink to revive you after a night of too many, uh, the Corpse Reviver is still an excellent cocktail. 